Hello, Taurus, my Earth Gang. So, Taurus, we're just going to tap into your person's energy as to why they won't commit. Um, and then I'm going to pull a spread out on you to see just how you feel about the relationship that you're in. I don't know. I'm just hearing something like knowing is key. I don't know what that means, okay? But anyway, for Taurus spirits... Why won't their person commit? Okay, I'm gonna pull out three cards here. Why won't Taurus person commit to our beautiful Earth Energy Bull game? Okay, so you got the Eight of Swords here in reverse, the Lovers card here, and the Moon card here. Well, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. The Eight of Swords in reverse is all about um, releasing yourself. I feel like they with somebody else. And this moon card here, they could be dealing with the Gemini, the lovers. Um, And the moon card here is a secret. I feel like they're secretly dealing with someone else. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or you could be dealing with a, um, a Pisces or a Cancer here. Hold on. That's a bomb of debt, the six of cups. I feel like they're dealing from someone in the past or with their past energy. Now, I'm going to say this because you, we do know the energy is like it can be vice versa. But for somebody here, they're really holding on to some shit on um, something happened in a relationship like. For somebody here, your person was incarcerated, and I feel like they were keeping in contact with someone while they were incarcerated, okay? Because there's something here about this restriction that's being released here, okay? Um, They could have been dealing with somebody, but whoever this is, this person is from somebody from their past with this Six of Cups here, okay? They could possibly even have a child with this person, Somebody here could possibly be from New York. I'm getting from, from you guys too that uh, somebody here, this person just wants to like, they really just don't want to be a have, be in a, commit, a committed relationship. Somebody here just want to be free. And they may not like be telling you this. And I feel like they are dealing with someone here with this Six of Cups here in reverse. Okay, the Six of Cups here in reverse. I'm sorry, I thought y'all could see that. The Six of Cups here in reverse. See here, like, I'm getting the energy. Like, they just want to be free. Like, they don't want to be this lover's card here. Um, The moon card here secretly want free love. If that makes any sense to you. Let me see. What is this Eight of Swords here in reverse here? Clarify this Eight of Swords here in reverse here for Taurus person on why they won't commit. What's this Eight of Swords here in reverse here? Okay, the Three of Swords here. Third party situation and a disappointment. Okay, Taurus, did you cheat on somebody or did they cheat on you? Somebody here was cheated on. Or this person could be dealing with, okay, thank you, Spirit. This person could be secretly dealing with past trauma from past life, past trauma from being a kid, okay, as to why they feel like, thank you, Spirit. They feel like they don't want to get tied down to someone because every time they get tied down to someone, it comes down to a disappointment, okay, for some of you. And this is why they just want to just have free love, like, just be open with other people. But they secretly feel this way, I feel. And not telling you. And then for some of you, I do feel like your person is with somebody else. I'm not saying that your person don't love you. But I feel like in their heart space. And I don't even think that they even reveal this to you. Like, 
they 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 may love the attributes of you but they are afraid to get tied down because of past things that has happened to them they're feeling like every time they commit to someone it's a disappointment they just don't want to feel trapped it's some memories in their memory space that they just can't let go Okay, they just can't let go. So it may not necessarily be just, you know, because of you, Taurus. It's just this person, you know, the stuff that they have been through. Okay, let me see. What is this lover's card in here? What's this lover's card here, Spirit? See the Ace of Swords here. That's their truth. And I feel like they want to be fair to you, but this is their, this is, this is their truth, but they're hiding it from you. Hold on. But like I said, somebody here do have a third party situation. I feel, and I feel like your person here, okay, they're going to come out with it. Whatever this is, they're going to come out and they're going to set it down. They, they're going to set them. Because like I said, you see here with this Ace of Swords, and like I said, it's not it's not the fact, it's not necessarily you, Taurus. It's just the, their past energy with this Six of Cups here in reverse is what I'm getting here. It's not the fact that they don't love you or they don't care. It's just all the shit from the past. Let me see. What is this moon card here? What is this moon card here, spirit? What's this secret about? What's this moon card here, spirit? What's this secret about? This moon card here for Taurus person. This moon card here, spirit. See here the five of wands here in reverse. Um, that's all about reconciliation. There was some conflict. Well, this person is going to be revealed. The moon card here is five of wands here. Okay. I feel like this person going to want, this person is going to tell you the truth about what happened or what they're dealing with. No longer keeping it a secret. Or well, like I said, it could be that your person found this out about you, Taurus. Because the five of wands is all about arguments. I feel like this person just want to come out and want to tell you the truth. It's the bottom of the day. Yeah, you see the five of pentacles, healing and restoration, um, starting things over new disappointment. Eight of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords here. I feel like, yeah, like I feel like every time this person feel like they, because the Eight of Swords is all about being restricted, okay? Disappointment. What is this um, Six of Cups here in reverse here? A Taurus person. What's this Six of Cups here? What's this Six of Cups here in reverse? A Taurus person here. The Six of Cups in my verse is Spirit for Taurus person. See the Ace of Wands. The Devil card here. Okay, so I'm hearing like your person, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. It's like your person want to be released from this. I feel like they want to stop what they're doing. It's like they do want to commit, but they are afraid because I feel like from past energy, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Strength card here. So it's sort of like, you know, the Knight of Cups in reverse is all about that person who's like emotionally unavailable or who cannot commit. The Strength card here in reverse. They're not too confident. Like, they do want the Ten of Cups with you is what I'm getting here. Okay, but they're just not too sure. They're not too sure because of past things that have been happening. 
So I feel like your person be out here with this Ace of Wands here, like they be out here being promiscuous and everything, okay? Or this could be the Ace of Wands. They started a new beginning with somebody from the past. So, because there is somebody here from the past. Or this is some type of new action. Let me see. What is this? Um, Let's tape on an angel romance. Clarify this three of wands here, spirit. For Taurus person, this three of wands here. I'm sorry, this three of swords here. And this eight of swords here, spirit. For Taurus person. Clarify this. This three of swords here. And this eight of swords in reverse. What is this disappointment and being released from? Okay. Taurus person. What is this disappointment and being released from? Three of swords here and this eight of swords in reverse. Spirit say take this one. Engagement. Oh, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Hmm. Could it possibly be that your person was once engaged with, with someone and they got disappointed? Okay. This is why with the Ace of Swords, like they don't want to be tied to an individual because this is what disappointed them. Some type of engagement. Engaging. And if it's not necessarily engagement, like a ring, it just be engaging a person's energy. Like they don't want to engage too much. You know, because to be engaged, that means that you're really living like husband and wife. And, 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 and it's like they are afraid to be tied to that. Okay, what is this lover's card here? And it's um, Ace of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius too. A lot of air energy. What is this lover's card here, Spirit? And this Ace of Swords too. What's this lover's card here and this ace of swords here? This lover's card here and this ace of swords here. This lover's card here, spirit, and this ace of swords here. What is this? Okay, so the soulmate came in reverse. Um, Yes, this is your soulmate, but it came in reverse. Hmm. What about this moon card here, spirit, and this five of wands here? Passion. I feel like this person does have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And I also get the energy like this person is secretly. Uh, listen, the five of wands. Okay, so they want to tell you that they want to deal with other people. Because they are afraid. I feel like with this ace of swords, they're going to tell you passion. To clarify the moon card and the five of wands. The five of wands are all about conflict and competition. But this is in reverse. This person, I feel like, like I said, I do feel like they have passion for you. I do feel like that. But I, I, it's giving me an energy like this person want an open relationship. Mm. Then you got unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what is this Six of Cups here in reverse? Or this person feels like they have to, you know what? They feel like they have to like frolic with a lot of people or deal with other people because it, they feel like that's what keeps the passion going in a relationship. But in, in, in all due respect, it's just that this person, your person just, they want to be free. They want to have free love. That's what it's about, free love. So being the fact that this is saying that this is not your soulmate, well, this is in reverse, and that is the truth about your relationship. So at this point, you have to make a decision if you're going to be involved with this open relationship and everything, because I don't see like a union. Like I, I just, I'm not getting an energy. Like if you are looking for marriage, if you're looking for a commitment, I don't see that. And like I said, for some of you, yes, you possibly got engaged to this person or this person got engaged with someone or this could just be engaging, you know, engaging. Like this person just don't want to engage. They get disappointed. Let me see. What's this six of cups here in reverse here and this ace of wands here? This six of cups here in reverse here and this ace of wands here. The Ace of Wands is all about 
new beginnings and moving forward. What is this ace six of wands, six of cups here in reverse here? And this ace of wands here, spirit. The Taurus person, this six of cups here in reverse here, and this ace of wands here, spirit. What is this? Heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. I feel like this person is going to reveal exactly what it is that they want. Let's see how you feel, Taurus. How does Taurus... Jeez. Jeez, 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 jeez. How does Taurus feel about this relationship spirit? A Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and a Venus. How does Taurus feel about this relationship spirit? How does Taurus feel about this relationship spirit? Okay, the king of Pen the emperor here. The six of wands. Yeah, you know. Look how you're looking at this. You see it for what it is. And I really don't think you even give a shit. <laughs> Honestly, you're like, mm, no, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. No, this is not going to work. Because, you know, I feel like Taurus, like you got your shit together. This is not going to work. Yep, the strength card, you just going to move forward. You're going to move on. You're going to be like, it is what it is because this shit ain't going to work. You don't even care, honestly. You don't. Yep, the king of wands here in reverse. You're not even trying to even entertain this. You know this. You know this. Yeah, you. I mean, there's no need to even. Yeah, the ace of pentacles, you going where the money at. And you ain't got time for this, Taurus. Why they can't commit. You ain't got time. Because I feel like this person is just not bringing to the table exactly like. Okay, so Tori, this could just been something for you to do. This could have been something for you to just, just for something that, you know, to do. You're, you're not. Mm -mm. Spirit, what, what, what you want to say to Taurus? Oh, shit. That's too many cards. What you want to say to Taurus? Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. That's even going down with your money, too, um, um, Taurus. And if you are dealing with this, um, unfold. It's going to happen. Don't, don't interrupt the process. Let it unfold. Hold on. Two more cards here, spirit. Jesus. Give me two more cards here, spirit. The Taurus. Give me two more cards. What else you want to say to Taurus, spirit? Abundance. You have done the work. Abundance flow to you now. That's this Ace of Pentacles. That's this Ace of Pentacles. It is your abundance. So you ain't, that's what I'm saying. Like, you ain't got time for it. You really don't. And I'm also seeing this too. I think Emperor is, um, is it fire energy or earth energy? But what I'm seeing is, is like, you're going to move forward. I feel like this Leo here is going to be a counterpart for you. But you're looking at what is not successful. You're not feeling complete with this person. Um, you're definitely not giving this person a platform. This person don't appreciate everything that you do for them. And you're just moving forward and you follow the money. And like I said, you really don't give a shit because here you are, the earth energy, the ace of damn pentacles here. One more card here, spirit. They gave me three. True love. The love is, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And I feel like it's this, it's this Leo here. May not necessarily be Leo, but I feel like way. And it say, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. And here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. I'm going to say this though. 
Hold on. Yeah, your person is definitely dealing with somebody else. They could even be engaged to somebody else. But like I said, you ain't got time for that. You don't care. And that's a good thing that you're not crying over this shit. It's a good thing you ain't crying over this shit. Taurus, proud of you. See you next time. Bye.